I want to do is share with you a story uh, about myself and my roommate back in 1987. I call I call it the Ozzy story. Um, now this is a great story for someone who asked me why do I need to play with the metronome? Well, I'm about to tell you why you need to play with the metronome. Um, the story goes back in 1987. My roommate and I we're going to MIT uh, which is Music Institute of Technology in LA right there on the Hollywood Strip and after we graduated there was an opportunity for a guitar player to join Ozzy at that time um, this is right before they got Zach Wild uh, for the guitar player but they had auditions and my roommate at the time was, I thought, a really killer guitar player. He's like 21 years old, can play all the Randy Road stuff up and down, um, backwards and forwards. Had it nailed, you know, with the CDs. You know, he'd practice every day. He was just a real Randy fanatic. So it took him about a month to actually get... Um, the audition for them to actually from the time you sent his promo package the pictures the CDs um, it took about a month uh, for him to get the call to come audition so he didn't have a car at the time so I drove him up to uh, north I don't know where it is now but north of LA uh, north of Hollywood there we drove up there and there was like it's in a real kind of a rundown neighborhood. You would never think that there was a um, a place for Ozzy and the band to practice up here. But so we go in this neighborhood, we go in this rundown looking building. But inside it was killer. It had all the equipment. Uh, there we met the bass player at the time, Randy Castillo was the drummer. Um, and it was great. It was really exciting for me. I bet for him too. Um, so we get in there, uh, Randy tells him, you know, go over and plug in, and, um, I, I sat down on the couch, you know, just watching this whole thing go down, this was like a, a, a great moment for me, um, Randy Castillo, one of my all-time favorite drummers, um, you know, was there, so it was like, wow, this is killer, you know, we finally, finally made it to the big time, you know, I was thinking, wow, if he gets the gig, which is real likely, I'll become the roadie. That'd be killer. So, but anyway, uh, so he had three songs to play. Uh, Randy decides to count the song off slower than what was on the CD. Okay, so he counts the song off. Everybody starts playing, but my roommate, who was used to playing with the CD um, only, played the tempo on the CD. He did not listen for the click of the song that Randy played, okay? And you're always supposed to follow the drummer, you know, sets the tempo of the song, so, you know, listen to the drummer. So, counts the song off again. Roommate still can't get a hold of it. And about the third time, he counts the song off, and a roommate, <laughs> it was just a train wreck. He just could not play with the tempo that, Randy counted off. So they stopped. Randy told him, you know, real sorry. Um, he told him you should play with the metronome. He also told him that we were looking at you. You were like going to be the perfect fit for this. He had the look, had the chops. So, and that was a um, real eye opener for my roommate. So, um, you know, so we went back home. It was a long drive home, a uh, quiet one. But, uh, so, the thing about this story is you always want to practice any song you're playing, practice it in different tempos along with either a click track or a drum machine, and really get to know what you're doing and how you're playing with the tempo you're supposed to be playing. You know, practice counting the song off and practice stomping your foot on the ground and try to play your song with that tempo so it's highly important to play with the metronome that's the reason why you don't want to get in a big situation and lose the gig because you don't have you can't play in tempo 
you know. And it, this happens all the time, I'm afraid. So grab a metronome or a drum machine and practice playing your favorite songs at different tempos. Not only it's great to play with the CD, but also turn the CD off, turn down the tempo, and play your same song until you nail that tempo. Okay? You will be a much better player, a much more effective player, and you will probably get a lot of calls to come back and do a lot more gigs if you have your tempo nailed. You know, as a guitar player, you want to be the one, instead of the drummer counting the song off, you want to be the one to count the song off and lead the band. If you get to that point, then you're uh, doing very well. All right? So thank you for um, joining me on the old Ozzy story, and we'll talk to you soon. (laughs) 